wa tazamaji wapendwa karibu katika Rogers Kakasungura kwa mara nyingine tena na kukaribisha ili tuandamane moja kwa moja katika kituo hiki cha kisiasa mahali ambapo tunazungumzia siasa ya Kenya na kuichanganua jinsi uh, ilivyo iwapo hauja subscribe tafadhali na una watch video na kuomba kwa moyo mkunchuvu jeki ambayo utanipiga ni kusubscribe ama kushare hiyo ndio support tunaweza ukanipiga na ameni songe kufika subscribers 1000 that is my target now i have been studying the dynamics in the kenyan politics and uh, i'm finding one coalition that is too ironical they have been preaching water and surprisingly they are taking wine right now confusion has emerged on the percentage of government share in the Kenya Kwanza government we haven't heard from Azimio Azimio hasn't revealed the percentage Mount Kenya will get the percentage that uh, Luo Nyanza will get and all that but then a number of times i have seen the core principles in Kenya Kwanza too much concerned about government share and these are the people who have been telling us that you know we are not interested in power sharing our work is to make government with mama mboga our work is to make government with boda boda our work is to make government with vibando our work is to make government with the less privileged how um, make government with the hawkers you know but from the sentiments i see on rallies the kenya kwanza is much interested on power share why you saw recently mudavadi tried to convince his people from the western region that yes we have agreed with william ruto he is going to give us 30% of government share that is what you saw now ruto gave a condition if you want me to give you 30% of government share you have to produce at least 70% of voter turnout in the august election for me and and remember you know i, I don't know if people know this ni vile tu imekanyagikwa kidogo Ruto will not contest as a Kenya Kwanza presidential flag bearer. Ruto will not be contesting as a coalition candidate. Ruto will be contesting as a UDA presidential candidate. That is the agreement in the coalition. Ruto will not be a coal it's the only coalition presidential flag bearer we have is Raila Odinga. Ruto alidanganya wengine When you, you know Ruto has been saying that oh Raila metapeli sio kalonzo oh Ruto ndiye ametapeli wanasiasa my friend ametapeli wetangula ametapeli mudavadi ndio ya ametapeli gashawa kwa sababu aliwadanganya Ruto lied to them that come we make a coalition and i will be the presidential flag bearer it has emerged that Ruto will be contesting as a UDA candidate You saw even what Aisha Juma said in Cliffy. He told Amazon Kingi, Kenya Kwanza is for only UDA. And that is a fact. It's only that they are afraid. They are afraid to bring this narrative out because there's me who laugh at them. That is not my point today. I will record that tomorrow and explain details. Now, recently you saw Rigathi Gashawa, the nominated deputy president, standing publicly and said we demand 50% government share from the Kenya Kwanza from the UDA government actually we don't have Kenya Kwanza government we have the UDA government we demand 50% from the upcoming if at all it will be UDA government now i'm asking myself wherever these people are seated is oh region yetu tapewa nini yule mudavadi demanded 30% you saw it Rigathi Gashawa is demanding 50%. That is 80%. We have remained with the 20. The Rift Valley, where the majority comes from, that is the UDA party. 
they will get how many percent? The people from Ukambani, Kin Alfred Mtua, they will get how many percent? So maybe Ruto government, as I see it, maybe it will be having two, 200% government share, not 100, as per what I've seen, the demand. Because everybody in Kenya, Kwanza is demanding a government share. Ricardo Kashawa says, Mount Kenya, where the majority, we must be given 50%. Where Tangula and Mdavadi are saying, we must be given 30%. I don't know how much percent that William Ruth, I see a confused government that is so much interested in what they will get after the election. If this person wants to support you, first he must know the reward. And that is when you will know this particular person is not a genuine supporter. A person who is only interested with his stomach, that person is not a genuine supporter. You hustle first, find the government, as much as there, is proposal, there are proposals. But yes, a government is 100%. This is what we will get. This is what we will get. But when you find some people are demanding, making demands, then you wonder, the same government, the same incoming government, but as me telling Kenyans, they are not interested in sharing government. They are not interested in power sharing. They are, not, they are the same people coming out so much interested on what percentage they will get. I don't know if I'm the only one who is seeing, but then from my analysis, from my observation, the William Ruto team is only, I think, they are not coming out clearly and tell us. They are confused on the agreement that was made earlier. Because we thought, and they also thought, that being a coalition, William Ruto will be a coalition president. That is what they thought. But now it's emerging that as much as they are pushing for Kenya Kwans as a coalition, Ruth has already finished making his government as a UDA candidate. Meaning what? If Ruto takes power, for instance, it will be a UDA affair and not the Kenya Kwanza affair. This is how Msalia Mdavad will remain an orphan. This is how Moses Wetangula will remain an orphan. I am telling you this, you know, if, if you also see, we can put our minds together and try to predict what is happening. What I foresee in Kenya Kwanza as a coalition are cracks. The Mount Kenya wants their share, Western wants their share, and Ruto, who is a principal, who is the chief principal, is busy preparing not the Kenya Kwanza government, but the UDA government. So it will be that it's not a Kenya Kwanza government that will be in power. The UDA. That is when reality will dawn on these guys. Please give us a break. Ticket ilikuwa ya nini? Ni UDA. Ticket ya president ilikuwa nini? Ni UDA. Pati yako ni hivi? Atifuati kenya. Oh. My friend. Tupati yo break. Ati chama yako ni gani? Ati ni. Mandrio chap chap. Ok. Sarakari ni ya? Ni UDA. Oh, 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 please. Tuta wapanga. Mm. Tuta wapanga. ANC. Ka hapa. Waipa. If at all it, you will join Raila, you will join Ruto, ka hapa. Mandero chaf chaf, mandero chaf chaf, ka hapa. Eh, Ford Kenya, chini, keti. Serikali sasa ndiyo hii ni ya UDA, hii ndiyo meza. Uyo ni Ruto, uyo ni Rikati Kashawa. The reality kwamba hatu pangwingwi, it will dawn on these guys. Ruto hata wapanga, na mutashanga. By then you will not have ulimi ya complain Because already the government has been formed. If at all it will happen. So what am I trying to say? I see utapeli mkubwa in the Kenya Kwanza. Now na utapeli mkubwa ahead of the coming government. Yes, wamekua kisema kwamba. They have been saying 
but Raila ametapeli watu but i'm telling you utapeli mkubwa ambao mimi nimeona ni ndani ya Kenya kwanza kwa nini Ruto aliwadanganya tuunde coalition mimi nitakuwa presidential flag bearer wa coalition ameruka nyuma futi 17 sasa Ruto will be contesting as a UDA candidate that is the reality it will dawn on them we are waiting to see Raila you, you let me tell you you even saw the release by IEBC in fact i have a copy I think I carried let, let me read for you. I think I carried a copy here. A press release from the IEBC to litumiwa kama journalists. Let me read for you how it says. You know so, some people think what I speak here are just speculations, but then let me prove to you. Let me prove to you here. I have a copy here what it says. A press release from the it's here. Media release from the IEBC. Let it open and then I'll read for you. Mm. Yes, it's here. It's here. Um, mm -hmm. Let me let me find out which paragraph was that. Okay, it's here. Number two, registration of aspirants as candidates. It says the the commission's returning officer shall register candidates to contest for various elective seats. In a candidate registration exercise that will run from the 29th of May to 27th June 2022, prior to the said registration, the returning officer should hold a pre-nomination meeting with aspirants to, among others, brief them of the requirements and procedures for registration of candidates. In this regard, the commission shall hold a pre-nomination meeting with all the presidential aspirants or their authorized representatives on 23rd of May 2022 at the Bombers of Kenya 8 a.m. Okay. There is another paragraph here I'm looking for. Okay. Presidential aspirants. That is number 1A. A total of 55 presidential aspirants out of which 14 are political party aspirants and one being a coalition political party aspirant and 40 independent candidate aspirants you had it you had it yourself this is from IBC listen a total of 55 presidential aspirants out of which 44 out of which 14 are political party aspirants ruto included and one being a coalition political party who is raila odinga so ruto ali wadanganya eh ruto ali wadang ruto has conned you anc ruto has conned you for the kenya ruto has conned you Maendeleo chafu chafu Ruto has conned you. Pole. See you in the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.